Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, how to avoid alien wave analysis clash with Fibonacci uh, traders. Have you been clashing with Fibonacci traders as an alien wave trader? Do you know that there is a clash between alien wave traders and Fibonacci traders? And now, how can one avoid okay, the alien wave analysis clash with Fibonacci traders? Let's get started. All right, I'm on the quarterly chart, all right, and I'm going to do what I call my preliminary wave count. So, first and first, I need to remind traders that if you want to start your preliminary wave count, it's better to start on a higher time frame when it's quite easy sometimes to count wave. So, you want to go very fast, you see, because I don't want to go through the wave validation, I'm just going through it very fast. I'm on a quarterly chart. Here, it's a little bit easier for me to count my wave. This is my first area wave. Feel free to disagree with my wave count. This is my second area wave. All right. So you can see here, uh, it pulled back nicely uh, without counseling the first wave. This is the third wave that is underway, but that third area wave is uh, subdivided into five mana wave. Now, I need to remind trader that uh, I've done my homework so we can, uh, all right, uh, avoid that the video is too long okay uh, this is uh, my uh, so first wave second wave first mana wave or the third wave second mana wave or the third wave third mana wave or the third wave we are having a bit of problem you'll see soon where i'm saying that uh, this is uh, the fourth mana wave of the third wave and this is the, the fifth mana wave of the third wave all right so this is my supposed to be first wave understand i'm doing a preliminary wave count so don't write don't rush into quick conclusion yes i'm just going with the flow all right all right here we are one two three four That's it. This is my third area wave in fact here. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention carefully. Um, color them into red. Preliminary wave count. Preliminary wave count. Okay. Just the starter. This is the starter yet. Uh, here we are. That's my third area wave going to highlight my third area wave in fact starting from here so you may be wondering Joe what is the first wave what is the second wave stay with me this is a preliminary wave count you'll see soon <laughs> all right you see soon now I've done a bit of homework so this is my fourth area wave followed by the fifth area wave right here the fifth wave also has been subdivided into five waves. Uh, you see the tail here, that's the fourth mono wave. I believe there's a fourth mono wave of the fifth wave there. But I don't want to dwell on it. I'm just going fast. And if uh, this data is correct, if what I'm looking on my chart is correct, I call this the first wave. Because sometimes you look at it like this, it's not as uh, loose, but it's different. So if my uh, okay what i'm looking at is correct i'll call this one the first wave and i'll call out this one i'll call this one my second wave all right so first wave second wave and from here all the way here that's my third in your wave this is my fourth wave and the fifth wave so I may say that there was a trend if what I'm looking at here is correct. Very important, all right? Unless you have more data than me, just understand um, this is what I can see on my chart. All right, maybe it's not clear, maybe I'm wrong, all right? So first wave, second wave, third wave, subdivided into five, fourth wave, and fifth wave. So my uh, multi wave is now in place. But what I've got to do with, uh, okay, earlier wave analysis, clashing, with Fibonacci traders. Now, the earlier wave analysis will clash with Fibonacci traders during the corrective phase of the earlier wave cycle. 
very often there is a clash between the area we traders and the Fibonacci trader when we are in the corrective phase of an area wave cycle. We know that the area wave cycle is formed of the multi wave and the corrective wave. The multi wave is subdivided into five waves from here all the way up here. This is the multi wave, which is first wave, second wave, third wave, and the fifth wave. All right. Now, during the correcting phase, we have uh, a clash between the area wave traders and the Fibonacci traders. Sometimes, all right. Sometimes we do see a clash. So why we do have a class is because once we see the multi way, which is the trending phase, and the first part of the correction is exposed, we see this move down, boom, down. Usually we begin to work together or against the Fibonacci traders. Because the area wave trader will start looking at the internal wave of the correction, and then we'll be expecting or forecasting the next price move. On the other hand, Fibonacci traders that are looking at the chart from the viewpoint of uh, okay, Fibonacci pattern, Gatley pattern, butterfly pattern, crab pattern, all right? Which one? Okay, bad pattern, all right? So if you don't know anything about the Fibonacci patterns, all right? Check uh, the playlist about uh, Fibonacci pattern, Fibonacci pattern playlist uh, by D. Pro Traders YouTube channel, D Pro Traders YouTube channel, YouTube search Fibonacci pattern playlist by D Pro Traders YouTube channel, and you will be busy watching videos about Fibonacci pattern, and this will help you also to understand the Fibonacci pattern, the Gatley pattern, the butterfly pattern, the crab pattern, and the bat pattern. All right. So between the course, when the correction is now beginning, you see the first move. So correction is now starting here. In this session here, for Fibonacci pattern trading, there was a trend in first followed by a correction. Fibonacci traders will call this XA. The first part of the correction, Fibonacci pattern traders will call it XA. Now, they are, they are expecting something else. Area we traders also are expecting something else. So, because of the structure of the Gatley pattern, bad pattern, crap pattern, those Fibonacci traders will be trading in a different way. So sometimes you may see that there is a clash between the Fibonacci traders and the area wave traders during the corrective phase due to the Fibonacci patterns and the area wave analysis. One group is using the Fibonacci patterns, which has, okay, those patterns have a specific ratio, all right? So you can see, so that's what we call XA. So first part of the correlation here, they will call this one XA. This is X. And this is E, all right? Now, as you can see here, then we have what we call the B. Fib this is about the Fibonacci trade, uh, looking at the chart in a different way, seeing something else. Area wave traders, focusing the market with a corrective wave. So there is a bit of clash. All right, and you need to know what's going on. So this is the B. Do you accept that's the B? All right, that's the B. B for Bravo. There. So X A B. All right. So here the C has been subdivided into three. One, two, three. This is about Fibonacci pattern. In fact, we have a double button. That's what I'm talking about all the time. Normally the C should be here, but you see it went up, come back to the cell level. That's why I'm saying that the C for the, the A, B, C, D chart pattern. A, B, C, D chart pattern after the S, A is a Fibonacci pattern. All, right? all Fibonacci patterns are A, B, C, D a chart pattern with the S, A. So I explain it to traders and they pro traders. All right? There must be a trending first, a pullback that does not cancel. The trending first, that's what we call the XA. So they say they call this point A, B, this point here, C. Now there is another point that they call D for delta. D for delta, which is the target zone. You accept this as a D? Oh, that's D there, okay? <laughs> All right, so A, B, C, D. 
Now, without too much blah 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 from my side, looking at this pattern here, the, the ratio is correct because we will felt the Fibonacci traded. So you as an earlier wave trader, you count your wave, first wave, blah 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 blah. You can here you see a correct wave. So you see one, two, three, and then you're expecting one, two, three up, forming what? The flat correction. You see the way say one, two, three. So the first thing coming to your mind as a Earlier way trader, you are thinking of a flat correction. I'm on a quarterly chart, probably if you go on a weekly chart, if you happen to be five, then you will think of zigzag pattern. But if it's one, two, three, you will be thinking of the flat correction. So for a flat correction, earlier way trader, you want to see that is, they will apply Fibonacci extension. Earlier wave traders apply Fibonacci extension? Yes. So the fifth area wave, this is the fifth area wave, and they will highlight the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level, which is the level of fifty seven dollars. Now you see that uh, we are clashing with the Fibonacci traders in this zone. So you watch you watch it, that zone. See that the price is a little bit above it. And there is a reason why, it's because of the Fibonacci traders thinking that we uh, must have our okay. A crab pattern. It's a crab pattern. So now Fibonacci. So area way trader. I mean, apply Fibonacci extension to the fifth area way. Set uh, high at the level of one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level for the end of the the the, the B part of the flat correction because the flat correction is the A B C, okay, chart pattern. The first part is one two three, all right. Second part one two three. You see here, this is double the bottom again. Remember the complex wave, how to trade the complex wave. And then free. All right. So now we are expecting it. Okay. So this is the B. All this for A. So earlier wave trader thinking of this, calling all this the B part of the flat correction. All right. Fibonacci traders calling this A, B, C, D. You can see the reaction of the price as the price start going up. I'll explain it to you in a minute because of the clash that is happening. You'll see soon. Uh, you need to understand it. So why do we care? Because it's what I'm talking about. You may say, I'm an area way trader. I don't care about Fibonacci. I'm a Stokachi trader. I don't care about uh, MACD. I'm a fundamental trader. I don't care about uh, technical analysis. But it's a mistake. All right? It's a mistake. You want to know how other traders are trading. So you know exactly what's going on in the financial market. If you ask, uh, okay, Goldman Sachs, okay, traders, they will, the most sophisticated trader understand what's going on in the financial market, how stock traders are trading, how, okay, forex traders are trading, what's going on in this messy financial market. So, I'm going to remove my Fibonacci extension. We are talking about a clash. Now you see that there's a bit of clash. You see soon, it becomes very clear to you that there is a clash. So now, Fibonacci pattern traders, all right? So they see the SA. So they're going to apply what? Fibonacci retracement to the SA. So the retracement of the B, AB. You see this move? A, B. You see it stopped at 61.8%. Trust me, 61.8%. Fibonacci S retracement level of the SA. Now, there are two patterns that will come into their mind. First one is Gatley pattern. The second one is the crab pattern. So now you can see that it stopped here. <laughs> 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the SA. So they will think that, okay, a Gatley pattern at this point in time, mm -hmm, Fibonacci pattern trader will be thinking that there is a high chance that we may have a Gatley pattern, and that Gatley pattern will stop here. You see the blue line here at 78% Fibonacci retracement of the SA. That's why they have, you see, there was seller here. You see this candle here, probably came nearly 78% of the SA. Yeah, first time those are the, because they see the pattern, they say SA, A, B, C. They, they're expecting the Gatley pattern to be completed in a zone of uh, this blue line here. So they took profit, price came back again, so other people took profit again. All right? <laughs> now you understand. Now price come to the, this level here, you see here now we have a double top in this zone, this top here, and this top here. Chart pattern traders came in, tried to sell it again. But before that, okay, so chart part, normal chart pattern traders, try to sell because they think that it's going to form a double top. So now you can see that in the zone of 78% Fibonacci retracement of the SA, Fibonacci pattern trader were clashing with the area we traded by selling at 78% level. So you'll be wondering why the price not going up very much? What's going on? Because they are interpreting 
the price action in relation to the Fibonacci pattern. On the other hand, you as an area way practitioner, you are expecting your gorgeous, beautiful flat correction to be completed. And sometimes those kind of uh, clash can make can, can make uh, your, your wave count a bit complex. You see this move down forming a double bottom, and you'll be wondering, oh, normally it should be one to three. But if you understand why the price pull back, you may be able to to okay to simplify okay the complexity that is arising during the wave count. Am I making sense? All right. So now, as the price went up, okay. So there are other key levels that uh, Fibonacci traders are watching. They are watching also the one three eight point two percent. Now look where we are now. We are we at one six one point eight percent. One six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level. Okay. Of the SA. Now we have a crab pattern. So in the mind of you see that they start selling here. These are Fibonacci traders selling here. The reason why they start selling here is because the price is at a target point. In fact, the price is at a hot spot trading zone. The price is now at a conversion point. So Fibonacci traders, all right, who are trading their Fibonacci pattern, in this case, they identify a crab pattern. The target point for the crap pattern is at 161.8% Fibonacci extension level of the SA. So they will, those who bought it, okay, at, at the point C, Fibonacci pattern trade that bought it at point C, all right, or here, all right, and they remain in the trade. They try to come out at 78%, it breaks above it and finds support, continue to go out. Those Fibonacci crab pattern trading will be coming out here. Some of them already came out within six months. You see these two candlestick bar on a quarterly chart. So two candlestick bar represent uh, six months. So they already some of them come out, and then will be now. What usually take place at the conversion point? So a lot of technical traders know that okay, all right, a crab pattern is being completed here. This is the target price level for a crab pattern. The normal Fibonacci traders are coming out of their trade so because they, they bought it at point C but some of them will try to sell again ordinary traders see also say all oh, right this is a conversion point they'll be looking for opportunity to sell in this zone in this zone all right at the same time okay any away traders will say all right it went a little bit above the one three eight point one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level and the area of a trader at this point in time will be expecting their uh the C part of the flat correction, that C part of the flat correction can be subdivided into five. So, but though now we may all align together, Fibonacci pattern trader coming out, selling, area where traders also looking for very signal in this zone, or if there is no signal to sell, don't sell. Very simple. It's a trading setup if the price is at a conversion point, at a hot spot trading zone, or at a price target level, it's a hot spot trading zone. We will now look if there is signal to sell. If there's a signal to sell, we will sell. If there's no signal to sell, we don't sell. All right. If you brace above that zone and find support, while well, we just follow it and wonder what's happening next. That's it. Okay. <laughs> So there is a clash, as you can see, uh, during the corrective phase, the area we traded will be clashing with uh, Fibonacci trading because of, uh, okay, the Fibonacci pattern, such as the crab pattern, the Gatley pattern, the butterfly pattern, all right, the bat pattern, those are Fibonacci trading will be clashing with uh, area we traded, and you may be wondering what's going on, all right, until we reach, uh, okay, a price target level, all right. If that price target in this case corresponding the same zone for us for the flat correction, we'll be expecting okay the C part of the flat correction. As always, we will not assume anything. All right? So now we are in that zone. Okay, you want a quarterly chart. Let's go to the weekly chart to zoom into it to see is there any signal in that zone. All right, what can we see? It's forming a, a triple top. All right. Okay. So we can say, in fact, just pay attention to the it's a consolidation, okay, between a level of sixty-five dollars and fifty-seven. That's what's going on now. See, bam, 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 bam. All right, will he, is he going to go down? Okay, just take it one step at a time. All right, using a different time frame, trading method. Pull back, tap up. Will he going to go down? If he breaks a ball, the sixty-five dollars, 
Be, if you don't want to buy, just pull back, hold it, watch it. Is it going to come back down? Okay, watch it, all right? But if you want to play it now, it's just a pure consolidation trading method using a top-down trading method to trade it, all right? Gently, 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 all right? So to summarize this video, all right, the earlier way traders that counted their way, okay? We see the multi-way. Now a correction has begun. The first part of the correction is what the area the, the Fibonacci traders call the SA. All right. Now price start going up. Area weight traders are expecting either a zigzag or a flat correction or a combination. All right, area weight combination. Now Fibonacci traders start seeing something else. Uh, especially they start identifying okay Fibonacci pattern. For those reasons, Fibonacci traders are making their decision accordingly to the Fibonacci pattern, setting their price target depending on the fact, or depending on the fact that they see a Gatley pattern, which can stop at seventy-eight percent Fibonacci, okay, extension uh, retracement level of the SA, or whether it's a bad pattern, the target for the bad pattern will be at eighty-eight point six percent Fibonacci retracement of the SA. All right, and if it is okay, a crab pattern or a butterfly pattern, they will expect a butterfly pattern, they will expect in the turn around in the zone one to seven percent Fibonacci okay extension level. And if it is a crab pattern, they will expect it to finish the target, the price target to be at 161.8 percent Fibonacci extension level because of the, 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 the attitude of Fibonacci traders is a little bit different from the attitude of any other trader that create a bit of clash and can make the wave count a bit complex for area wave traders and uh, if one does not understand how the Fibonacci pattern traders trade or think one can uh, okay get into trouble as an area wave a trader all right i hope you find this video useful and uh, you put into use to avoid okay uh, fighting against the Fibonacci traders but it will help you to understand what is taking place so you can stay focused focus on your on your wave analysis and understand Understand that oh those are stupid Fibonacci traders they are not stupid all right they are not stupid okay those are crazy Fibonacci traders all right and then you understand you follow the price gently 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 and you make excellent uh, trading decision all right if you find this video useful all right feel free to give us the thumbs up all right if you think that George this is another blah 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 let us know by giving us the thumbs down. If you think that this is an essential video for all area wave and Fibonacci traders, all right, feel free to share it on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. We wish you the very best in your trading, and until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders, talking about how to avoid area wave analysis clash with Fibonacci traders. Thank you for watching and speak to you soon.